Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Draw With Rob. With me, Rob Biddulph. There I am in cartoon form on the back of my first, my first Draw With Rob book. You might know me. I'm a children's author and illustrator. Probably should have said that at the beginning. Maybe you've seen my first middle grade chapter books. The Peanut Jones series. These are the first two of the trilogy. The reason the third one isn't here is because it hasn't printed yet. I have finished it. I've done all the drawings. I've written all the words, but it's not printed yet. So here's books one and two. Peanut Jones, The Illustrated City. Peanut Jones, The Twelfth Portal. Really fun chapter books. Are you allowed to say your own books are fun? I think you are. I think you are. Um, they are really fun. I'm really, really proud of them. Look, look, loads and loads of illustrations. There's a magic pencil. Whatever you draw with that pencil becomes real that kind of things in there they, they go to paris and new york all over the place but look fun right looks fun check them out if you like fun <laughs> but i am here today to talk to you a bit about my brand new picture book you ready to see it ba, ba, ba. it's called gigantic and it is all about this little guy here whose name is gigantic and he is the small whale with a big heart so this character he's a blue whale right and we know blue whales are the biggest animals on the planet right but this little chap he's just not very big when he was born he was small it just happens sometimes right but it's not all about how big you are is it so I show, should I show you the first bit of this book look a little sneak peek here look at that couldn't get that word much bigger could I <laughs> um, here we go, I'll read the first few couple of pages just to set up the story for you. Here we go. A mulberry sky full of flashes and rumbles, an ocean alive as it rises and tumbles. And there, neath the waves of a stormy Atlantic, there lives a blue whale. And his name is Gigantic. This guy is unusual, he's different, he's odd, the smallest blue whale in the whole of the pod. His parents, they love him, but hope all the same that one day their son will grow into his name. Okay, so there we go. That's the start of the story. And as I said, in the course of this story, we realise that it isn't about how tall you are. It's about the size of your heart, really. As Gigantic goes to prove in this story. And look, he's got a best friend in this book, Myrtle here, Myrtle the Turtle. And I thought to celebrate this new book coming out, that I would show you how to draw those two lead characters, Gigantic and Myrtle. Now, this isn't the first time I've drawn a blue whale. Some of you who have been paying attention <laughs> might remember that we drew a blue whale back in May of 2020, video number 20. And it was a very special video because we broke the world record for the largest ever online art class when I drew that blue whale. I think we had about 130,000 people who drew that whale with me live. We did it for charity. We raised thousands and thousands of pounds for the NHS and various other charities. And it was super, super fun. And we broke a world record. But I thought it was about time I drew another blue whale. Gigantic, especially because Gigantic, the story Gigantic, that's where it kind of sprang from, really. I sort of had the idea in my mind, and when I drew that whale, and everyone told me how much they loved the character, I thought, I've got to give this guy a book. So that's where the character of Gigantic came from. So I'm going to show you how to draw Gigantic and Myrtle today. But before I do that, I've got something exciting to tell you about, because I am partnering with my friends at Little People UK to bring you this video today. Now, Little People UK is a registered charity. It's run by volunteers, and their mission is to offer friendship and support to people with dwarfism, okay? They need to raise awareness of people with dwarfism. Not only that, but they really love celebrating with great pride the positivity that little people contribute to society, okay? And I'm super, super, super invested in this. It's very pertinent to the book, gigantic um, and if you want to find out more about little people uh, UK you can do by visiting their website which is here on your screen right now and please do and please support them right then let's get on with our drawing now have you done a draw with Rob video before I'm assuming you have most of you probably have if you haven't this is how it works some people do you know what believe it or not some people don't think they're very good at drawing I say everybody can draw 
The problem arises, I think, sometimes with the order that we do the drawing on. You just people, some people just don't really know where to start. Now that's where I come in because I am going to help you with the order that we do the drawing in. We're going to break this drawing down into little bite-sized pieces, right? So I'm going to draw a little bit on my piece of paper here. You can pause your video, copy what I do. Start me up again, I will draw a little bit more. Pause me again, you will draw. Start me up, I draw, you draw. I draw, you draw, I draw, you draw, I draw, you draw, I draw, you draw. And before you know it, you'll have a brilliant drawing on your hands. Trust me. All you're gonna need is a piece of paper, a pen or a pencil, something to draw with. You might want something to color with a bit later on too. And that's it, we're ready to go. Shall we start? What do you think? Shall we make a start? Okay, let's do it. We are going to start, so we're going to draw two characters. We're going to draw Gigantic the Whale on this side, we'll draw Myrtle the Turtle on this side. So let's start with Gigantic's outline, shall we? The first thing that I want you to do is kind of, what kind of shape would you call this? Like a U shape, I guess, like a long U shape, but slightly <whistles> diagonal, like that. So a nice easy start. Do you know what? I'm going to make mine slightly bigger and I'm going to bring it slightly closer together at the top, like that. A nice easy start, as I said. The next thing I want you to do, about halfway up your U shape, I want you to draw, let's draw the kind of, the beginnings of a curved line, like that. So only a couple of centimeters long, but it's not straight, it's just very, very slightly curved. I'll make it slightly longer than that, I think, but yeah like so and then we're going to turn at a bit more of a sharp curve like that so we point upwards on our page and then we're going to draw pretty much a vertical line and we're going to go quite high up our page about that high it's not quite vertical it's a very slight curve as you can see like that but don't worry if yours is vertical it's absolutely fine as I said, there is no right or wrong answer for drawing. If yours doesn't look exactly like mine, don't worry about it at all. Mine will not be perfect. And do you know what? It's those little mistakes that give your drawing character. Anyway, you can see my lines a bit wibbly wobbly and that's what I really love. I love that kind of thing. So next thing I want you to do, we're gonna curve around here and we're gonna sort of head back across our page. Let's see. I've got to try and work out how much space I need on the left. Let's go about that far. Something like, what's that, about seven or eight centimeters, I say. But can you see, these lines aren't dead straight. I'm not going straight up or straight across. I'm sort of curving very slightly. So we're creating a nice rounded shape. And you'll see why in a little bit. The next thing I want you to do, we're gonna curve, keep curving round, but this time we are gonna go pretty much straight down, very slight curve still. But we're gonna stop before we get level with that line we started with. We need to leave a little bit of a gap, okay? That's because we are, well, I'm not gonna tell you what we draw yet. Let's draw it first and then I'll tell you afterwards. But what I want you to do, I want you to sort of turn almost at right angles and add a tiny little line like that in there. And from the end of that line, we're gonna come up and we're gonna go round in a nice smooth curve like that, quite a big curve. From the end of that, we're gonna do a U-turn. A tight U-turn, like almost like a C shape. Then we're gonna go down very slightly diagonally. So we just go past that corner and then we turn inwards. Like that. Can you see what it is yet? Yeah. It's starting to take shape, isn't it? And we're gonna go back out and we're gonna draw this shape again, but a mirror image. So we're gonna come down here about the same length. When we get to the bottom there, we're going to go out, do a U-turn, like so, come up, and bend back around. We're going to stop there, half a centimetre from this corner. I'm sure you can see what's happening now, especially when we join this back up. So we're going to come along the bottom here, and we're going to imagine that line carries on through that U-shape. And there we go. We have drawn the outline of our whale. A nice big tail on Gigantic here. And that first shape we drew, obviously, is Gigantic's fin. Let's give Gigantic another fin. We're gonna draw exactly the same shape, but we're gonna do it sort of behind, tucked in, like that, to give Gigantic two 
nice bins. The next thing I want you to do, we're going to draw a dead straight line from back here. We're going to go straight across our page. I'm using a slightly thinner pen. Straight across here. Just carry on through that fin to the edge there. And this area below here is going to be Gigantic's tummy because you know blue whales, they have kind of a different colour tummy, don't they? They're sort of blue on top, but they have like, almost like a very pale blue stripy tummy. Blue whales are huge, aren't they? Do you know how big they are? More than 100 feet long, blue whales. They are massive. Have you guys ever visited the Science Museum in London? I used to go there a lot when I was a little boy and we've taken my girls there quite a few times. And my favorite thing there, they've got like a scale model of a blue whale in this room. And it's amazing. It takes you about two minutes to walk around it. It's so huge. But I love seeing just how big these things are. And I can't imagine what it must feel like if you're a rowing, on a rowing boat or something in the, in the ocean. And one of these things swims up underneath you. I think it might be a bit scary actually. Although they're very, I don't think they would deliberately harm humans. They certainly wouldn't eat one because they just eat, they eat krill, something called krill, which are lots of, lots of little tiny little fish things. Shellfish, I think they are krill actually. Um, but still, they're big, right? They, can, they weigh, apparently can weigh as much as like 30 elephants. What? 30 elephants, that's one whale, that's pretty big. And they have like, like their tongues, right? Their tongues alone can weigh as much as an elephant. There's a lot of elephant comparisons going on <laughs> in this video, isn't there? Do you know what? I might just stop talking and get on with the drawing. <laughs> I'm always doing this, aren't I? Waffling on. Right, where was I? Let's give our, let's give Gigantic an eye. Now the eye, we're gonna do it just above and to the right of that front fin, the very first thing we did. And we're gonna draw a lovely big circle like that. Very cute eye Gigantic has, like so. Now, you know where you put the pupil in the eye, that, that makes it, that dictates where your character is looking. So if I drew the pupil over this side, Gigantic would kind of be looking back behind himself. If I did it up here, be looking straight up, down here, straight down. We want Gigantic to be looking at our turtle, which we're gonna draw here. So the eye ball, we're gonna do it right on this side. So we draw kind of a C shape like that, and we cover it in. And there we go, Gigantic looking straight forward and I always think it's really amazing when you draw the pupil because suddenly your character comes to life doesn't it okay that's easy peasy right drawing the whale totally easy I'm gonna tidy up this bit down here it's a bit of a mess my pen was wobbling around a bit too much so I'm gonna just tie that's the good thing about using a thick pen you can just sort of make the line a bit thicker here and there and just tidy it all up a bit there we go I'm happy with that okay the next thing we're gonna draw is Myrtle the turtle. Now if I'd have thought ahead, I might have drawn Myrtle first <laughs> because do you know why? Can you guess why? Left-handed, aren't I? So I'm gonna probably smudge my gigantic drawing, but I will do my best not to do that. Now Myrtle, she's quite a bit smaller than gigantic, so I'm gonna try and keep this in scale. So I'm gonna do Myrtle right over this side uh, and we are going to start with, let's start with, we're gonna start with Myrtle shell. So what I want you to do, I want you to draw a horizontal line here. Let me get this scale about right. I think about, yeah, about that long. So what's that, four or, four or five centimeters, something like that. So we start with a horizontal line and then we curve upwards a little tiny bit, like so. Next, we're gonna do a U-turn. There's a lot of U-turns in this drawing. And we're gonna sort of follow that line back. So we're drawing a kind of sausage shape that's bent at one end. I'm gonna go right back there and then we're gonna round off that end too. So it really is a bent sausage. <laughs> the next thing I want you to do is from this point, just here, we're gonna continue going up and we're gonna go over the top, a nice curve and back down this side go that is myrtle the turtles shell easy peasy this is so easy this one let's give myrtle some fl what are they called are they flippers do turtles have flippers they're flippers i think <laughs> we are going to draw a line that comes down from the shell at a very slight angle like that can you see it's not straight it's very slightly at an angle 
and then from there we're going to curve around and we're going to go down diagonally that way like so so it's like a funny l shape really then from this end we're going to go up and over and stop about there then we simply curve around and we disappear back up into our shell and that is one of Myrtle's flippers. We're going to do another one exactly the same back here. So we're going to come down. I mean, you can use this one as a basis to kind of copy. We're going to go down diagonally like that. We're going to go up and over like so and disappear back up. So pretty much the same. Don't worry if it's not exactly the same. These things never are usually. Now before, now they've got four flippers, right? But we've just done the two front ones at the moment. And next we're going to draw the little tummy, the little belly, because we want that to come in front of the rear flippers. I'll show you what I mean. First of all, draw another line underneath here, very slightly curvy in a belly shape. And that's going to, we're going to imagine that goes through that leg there and disappears back up there. So we add a little tiny bit more line just there. Then we're going to draw the rear flippers. Now they're going to be the same shape as these two here. But I'm going to do them at a very slightly different angle so it looks like our turtle is kind of flippering through the water. I'll show you what I mean. This time I'm going to come out like that. Okay, slightly different angle. Then I'm going to do my curve and my straight line here, which is just a bit more vertical than that one, to create a different angle. Then we curve back up and we're going to disappear behind that. But we're going to imagine it carries on there and goes in there. So can you see, it looks like this, sort of, this turtle is sort of kicking along. We're going to do the same back here. We're going to come down a bit more of a steep angle and disappear behind there. And that's all I need to do there. And we're kind of creating the right shape with those feet, feet, flippers, whatever you want to call them. Okay, let's do Myrtle's head. Now the first thing we do is quite easy. We're going to come up from this side of the shell and we're just going to come up almost in a straight line Go up and just bend around here because it's very slightly taller than that shell. I think I've drawn Myrtle a bit too big, actually. I think she's meant to be smaller than that in comparison to Gigantic, but it doesn't matter. Maybe she's in the foreground. <laughs> okay, then from here, we're gonna go across a couple of centimeters like so. Then we're gonna curve back around. And we're gonna go down the this is a bit like, do you remember when we drew Gregosaurus? The very first video I did. Myrtle's head is not unlike Gregosaurus's. You're gonna curve up there in a, like a smiley shape. U-turn back out like that. So you can see we created a smile. And then we just go down and into the shell there. And that's how Myrtle's head joins onto her body. <laughs> Now Myrtle's got huge eyes, so big circle here. It takes up a lot of her head, her eye, like that. Got lovely, lovely big eyes. And do you remember what I said? We want them to be looking at each other. So this time we're going to do Myrtle, because I've done her quite big, and do her eye, her pupil, kind of down in that bottom left area, like that. In fact, I might have to make this a bit bigger and move it up around here a bit, just so that he is looking a bit more up at Myrtle, like that, so they're kind of looking at each other. That works, that kind of works. Cute. All right, now, I have got a few more details to add to both of these guys, but before I do that, I'm gonna do some coloring because I don't want to color over the top of my ink because sometimes that smudges my ink. So the detail I'm gonna add, I'm gonna add afterwards with pen, okay? So now let's go into color mode. Now you know what the rules are with Draw With Rob. The rules are there ain't no rules, okay? You can do whatever you like color-wise. Um, I'm gonna stick to the colors that I used in the book, which is kind of blues and greens and purples and things, but you can make your turtle and your whale any colors you like. The more fun, the more colourful I think, the better, to be honest. But I will go into super speed mode to colour in, and I will see you back here in about 20 seconds. Are you ready? Three, two, one, let's go.
Okay, so there is my coloured in myrtle, gigantic. Um, right, you can see I've gone for the kind of the green and the turtle, and I've added a few little darker green kind of spots and blots on the on the skin just to give it that kind of turtly texture. I've gone for like a pinky purple shell. I've done like a brickwork pattern on the shell. Um, you can do whatever pattern you like. I think it's fun to decorate turtle shells. Any like not in real life. I'm talking about our drawings of the shells. <laughs> Let me make that clear. Um, but you can decorate your shell any way you like. The brighter colours, the better. Obviously, our blue whale is mainly uh, blue with a kind of lighter belly with those stripes on it. You can see there's a bit of smudging and all sorts of things going on in mine. But again, I think that just adds to the character of my drawing. Now, do you remember I said I needed to add a few little details after the colouring? Well, the first one is the nostril. Now, I don't know if you remember how we drew Gregosaurus, but we did the nostril in exactly the same way. What you do, you start with a little circle up in that corner. And then we just do a little swirl coming out of the circle and going up and over like that. And that's how we do our turtle nostril. And Myrtle has got lots of nice eyelashes, but only around sort of the back half of her eye. But there's lots of them and they're little and they're short. About there, I say we finish. And that's Myrtle's detail done. The only thing we have, oh, that was Ringo barking. Did that, did the microphone pick that up? Can you hear him, Ringo? What are you barking at? Well, what a surprise, Ringo interrupts my video with barking. It's his favorite, I think it's his favorite pastime. Barking, interrupt, barking, bark, bark. Right, <laughs> what was I saying? Yes, the only detail we need to add over here on Gigantic is an eyebrow. So add a nice eyebrow up there. Quite a long way above the eye, I think. There we go. And that's our drawing. Now, there is something else that I'm gonna add. I'm gonna go into super speed mode to add it. Cause I want to, cause our characters are both underwater, right? But I'm not gonna color in the whole background blue like water because that would take me too long. So what you can do instead is just add, I'll do a couple here to start with, add some circles here and there. Sort of linked circles like that. And then some other sort of smaller ones. Some of them you can color in, some of them you can't just little patches here and there and they're like little patches of bubbles so we'll do one up here see when when you link them they just look a bit more bubbly there we go and you don't need to cover the whole area with these at all just a few patches here and there and it'll make the whole thing look like it's underwater so i'm going to go into super speed mode to finish that off are you ready three two one let's go There we go, bubbles galore. This is a cute picture. It's a cute picture. As I said, I think I've done the turtle slightly too big, but that's absolutely fine. Now the next thing you need to do, obviously one of the most important things of all, you need to sign our drawing. I'll do mine down here. Let's do my full name. Make sure you sign your drawing very proudly so that everyone knows who has created these wonderful works of art. And there we go. That's how you draw gigantic and myrtle from this book here there you go you can see them there and there's my version there and they're super fun to draw i hope you'll agree um i want to see your drawings guys do you know how i get to see your drawings that's right you need to get your grown-up to take a picture of your drawing post it on social media using the draw with rob hashtag that's probably the quickest way that i'll get to see it if you're watching on facebook you can comment on the video below and I'll get to see that too and I can't wait to see your drawings because these characters I really like the design of these characters it takes me a long time to work out how to draw them I do lots of stuff in my sketchbook again and again to make sure I get the characters right and I'm really pleased with these I think they're very cute and appealing characters so I can't wait to see your versions of them so do get someone to post them to me what else can I tell you ah oh, Make sure you're subscribed to my channel if you're watching in YouTube. Turn your notifications on. That way you'll get to know when a new video comes out first. Um, also subscribe to my newsletter. Because um, that's then I'll send straight into your inbox or your parents' inbox. I will send you an email with all the details of my newest books or my newest Draw With Rob videos or my live shows, that kind of thing. But it's the best way to keep fully up to date with all of my information. Um, I want to thank Little People UK for supporting this video. And I want you to make sure you visit their website. Here it is again. Uh, make sure you go and have a look and see how you can support 
them and the brilliant work that they do. And that's it. That's all we have time for today. I hope you've enjoyed drawing Gigantic and Myrtle with me. I've loved showing it, showing you how to draw them. I'm going to be back very soon with another episode of Draw With Rob. In the meantime, guys, keep those pencils sharp and keep on reading. And take care of yourselves and I will see you soon. Bye, everyone. Hello everyone, it's Rob here. I hope you enjoyed your Draw With Rob video. I'm just popping up here again at the end. I've got Ringo with me as you can see. He's having a bit of a nap at the moment. Um, but I just popped up here to tell you about my brand new Draw With Rob activity book. And this is it. It's called Draw With Rob in Space, an out of this world art activity book. And I think you're really gonna like this one. So what's inside it? Well, we have um, lots of puzzles. Uh, like these ones. We have some bits where I've started off the drawing and you guys have to finish the drawing off. I really like this one. It shows the cockpit of a spaceship and you have to add the controls. We have some crafting ideas for you. There's even a card game in there too. And of course, plenty of our usual draw alongs like these guys. And of course, once you've done your draw alongs, you, you draw them in the little frame that I have made next to the instructions. And then can you see here, look, the pages, you probably can't see, but the pages are perforated down that side. So once you've done your drawing here, you just tear the page out, stick it up on the fridge, ready to display. And then once you've finished the entire book, once you've been through the whole activity book, you've got a nice certificate. You know, this is to certify that your name is officially a space superstar. So lots and lots of interstellar entertainment for you to keep you occupied when you're not watching a Draw With Rob video. The book is available now um, from wherever you get your books. Try and support your local bookshop if you can. Um, and if you get it and you enjoy it, please let me know and send me lots of your pictures. I love to see your pictures. Right, that's it, I'm done. You can get on with the rest of your day now. I will see you very soon for another episode Draw with Rob. Bye everyone.